So, uh, you ready to get DTF? <laughs> because I sure am. <laughs> Let's get, uh, crafty. <laughs> hey, I'm Michael, and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, where I show you crafty tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. And y'all, today, it is all about DTF. And by DTF, I do mean direct to film transfers. Now, y'all, for those who got my Craftmas Ultimate Mega Mystery Box, y'all got a little sneak peek into the new StarCraft DTF direct to film full color transfers but now it is finally available to the public at 143vinyl.com i'm here for it listen y'all i am so freaking excited i personally believe that this is a huge freaking game changer so not only i'm going to show you how to actually place an order through the 143 site but i'm also going to show you how to use those starcraft dtf transfers to basically customize your own garments because y'all it is so freaking easy it's gonna blow y'all's mind that's the power of a uh, dtf <laughs> let's just get into it let's just get into it all right so here we are on 143vinyl.com now at the time of filming this let me just say this real quick this is currently hidden on the site it is hidden on the site it is the beta version so once this finally launches which if you're watching this video, it is finally launched. I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit more obvious on the side, but currently I'm gonna come over here to more, come down here to library. I'm just gonna click on that. Again, that will probably be in a different location, but I'm sure it's gonna say DTF or direct to film transfers. You'll just click on that little icon and you'll be taken to a page similar to this right here. Now, again, I am in the beta version and I do know that 143 vinyl is going to just keep on building on top of greatness to make a really great user experience. But what I absolutely love is they have a library, a pretty cool interactive library of all types of images and fonts and shapes and patterns and editable projects that we can go in here, kind of make whatever we want, or we can scroll down and actually just upload our own custom design, our own print, our own photo, our own whatever you want to use into this little basically image upload layout designer. So basically what that means is that you can go to nearly any site, download a design as long as it has a commercial license, then head over here to 143vinyl.com, upload that, resize it to be the size that you need and they will basically print it out as a direct to film transfer and mail it to you it's super quick super simple super easy and let me tell you this it's also going to save you a crap ton of money more on that here in a second but first let's head back over here to that library because y'all it's just too cool to not show y'all some of the things okay so first things first let me come over here and click on projects. Now, what I love about this is that most, if not all of these projects are completely editable, which basically means I can go in here and change this up however I freaking want it. So let's go with this one right here, the spring vibes wreath. Now we could just take it exactly as it is right here and add to cart. Um, we could also go in here and change the size from basically a 10 inch by a 10 inch design for a large shirt. We can go up to an extra large or eight by eight for a small or medium, a six by six. You get the idea. Basically you pick out the size and obviously the price is gonna change depending upon the size. Now for a large, like for what they recommend to use for a large t-shirt, 10 inches by 10 inches, that is only $4.50. Now mind you, looking at this image right here i mean there is a lot of colors i mean it's a lot of detail this is not a flat vector image there's just a lot going on here however if you were trying to recreate this with htv or vinyl the number of sheets of htv the number of colors that you would need is absolutely mind-blowing i mean pink blue yellow purple i mean brown black i mean green that right there is like just seven sheets of htv that you would need in and of itself for this no 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 like 
We're saving some money here with this DTF stuff. But what I wanna actually show you that I think is pretty cool is the layout designer. Let me click on that right here. And basically this is putting this on a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas because that's what we had it selected to. However, if you do wanna go in here and actually change the size, the little PS right here is for pocket size, like a little pocket size logo. The YO is for a youth size. The SM is for small, LG is for large, XL, 2X. Now here's the thing with this 2F and 5F. The 2F is for a two foot gang sheet, this 22 inch by 24 inch gang sheet, right? The way I like to think about this is the equivalent of those thrift stores where you can go in and they say, here's a bag, whatever you can fit into this bag is like $5. That in my mind is the equivalent, like the DTF equivalent of a gang sheet, okay? Whatever you can fit onto this gang sheet is gonna be a certain price. So for a 22 inch by 24 inch gang sheet, that is $15. Or we could come down here and click on the 5F, which is a five foot gang sheet, a 22 inch by 60 inch gang sheet. So again, whatever design that we wanna put on here, whatever we wanna fit on this gang sheet, that is gonna be one single price of $32. However you wanna slice it, however you wanna dice it, okay? But I wanna come back over here and let's just click on large. But um, as far as these designs, what I like is that you can go in here and let's click right over here on the left on the layers panel where it says spring. I wanna change this up a little bit. Let's, let's mix things up. I'll come up here, click on edit text and let's just go ahead and backspace that out. And instead, let's put in here, hello. We come back over here and click on this layer again. And we can also go in here and adjust this up or down or left or right or however you want it to be. There we go. And then for vibes, let's come over here and click on that layer. So now we can type in here spring. All right, so that's a little big. So we can come down here and actually click where it says font size. We can bring that in some. And if we click on that little text layer over here, we can kind of move that around a little bit. And then come up here and click on this little hello text layer. And they can move that over here to the left, just kind of center that up a little bit. Or we could just click on the little center icon right up here in the middle, or we could just you know, have it line up to the left or to the right. But for this, we're wanting it center. So, or at least I'm wanting it center. All right, now what's really cool, I personally love this, is the fact that we can also go in here and we can actually add in patterns to all this. So let's click on the text. We can click on edit text again. And for this, we can go in here and change the color um, of the inside of, of our text if we want to. Or we can come over here and click on pattern. And with this, we can actually have it be like a transparent center if we wanted to. Or we can come in here and just change this up however we want. So let's do this little rainbow looking one because that looks like it could kind of fit with the overall color scheme. Let's go ahead and for this pattern scale, we can drag that up. Oh, I'm really liking that right there. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's exit out of that. Let's come over here to spring. Click on edit text up here. For pattern, we will also come down here and we'll do that rainbow as well. And then for pattern scale, we can just kind of drag that up or really just make this however you want. Like you honestly have so much power with this to do whatever the freak you want to do with it. It's so flipping cool. So there is that. Now it looks like the wreath is actually above our letters. Now if your letters were bigger and maybe you wanted them to be sitting more on top of the wreath, we can actually go in here and just change that around by actually moving the text over like so. And as you can see, the text is now above that wreath like so. And what I also love about this is that you can actually scroll down here. You can actually save this project. So let's go in here and put in here, hello, spring wreath. And then you can actually just click on save project. There we go. And as you can see, there is now our image. And what is super cool is that you can actually go down here Click on download canvas. It'll save this as a PNG with a transparent background so that you can then use this to actually make mockups to sell your designs with. You can go into any type of program, put this mockup on a t-shirt, 
start selling it and then actually have the DTF transfers on their way to you so that you're ready to start fulfilling orders. How freaking cool is that y'all? I'm living. So one other really cool thing that I'm super excited about is that one of the things that I've been working on here recently is a collection of, of designs for the DTF transfers. Let me show you just one of them. It is this one right here, this little beach vibes one, or I'm sorry, beach please. I personally love this. And I'm actually gonna show you how to apply this down to a t-shirt real quick for the StarCraft DTF transfers. Now I will also put this out here real quick. I would not use an actual household iron for this. You really want an easy press or an actual heat press to apply these with. Again, household iron is just really not gonna cut it, in my opinion anyway. But let's go ahead and get our easy press out. And for the temperature for this, we are wanting 345 degrees. And then for the time, we're gonna shoot for 25 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and set that back off to the side. I'm also gonna get out my t-shirt that I'll be using to apply our DTF transfer to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay out my t-shirt on my Easy Press mat. Now, if you are using an Easy Press and you don't have an Easy Press mat, that's okay. Just roll up like an actual terry cloth towel or something similar and you can press it on that instead. But you do wanna make sure that this is all smoothed out. You don't want like any wrinkles or anything bunched up onto the actual Easy Press mat. All right, so now that's all laid out, I am gonna go ahead and just preheat this up real quick. We really wanna preheat to get out any moisture, any wrinkles, and really just go ahead and get the fibers of the shirt ready for the DTF transfer. Now here's a little hack for you, something to, to really help to make sure that you're gonna line your DTF transfer up exactly where it needs to go on the shirt. Take the shirt, fold it seam, like shoulder seam to shoulder seam. Like basically line that up to fold this perfectly in half. And then once you have that folded perfectly in half, what I like to do is to go in here and then just give that good little press just for a few seconds. And again, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but there is a nice little crease right down the center right there. So what we're gonna do now is actually take our DTF transfer. I'm not gonna actually crease any part of the design, but what I am gonna do is crease the film around the design. So I'm gonna fold it so we're basically, this transfer is folded directly in half. We're gonna kind of line up the edges over here and we're gonna crease the top just a pinch and then crease the bottom just a little pinch as well. That should be pretty good. And now we can actually take the creases on this DTF transfer, line it up with the crease right here in the middle of the shirt to make sure it's centered on the shirt. Now, also, I like to start the, the top of the design around three finger widths below the collar. That's just me. Whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles y'all's pickle, you do you, boo, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go right around there. All right, so if y'all have been here around this channel for a little bit, y'all know I always love to use a heat resistant sheet. My heat resistant sheet of choice is a Teflon sheet. However, you can also use parchment paper. In this case, we are not using a heat resistant sheet for the first time around. What we're gonna do is just go ahead and press directly on top of this DTF transfer with medium to firm pressure, again, for 25 seconds at 345 degrees. All right, so there is that. Now we are gonna let this completely cool off to the touch. So. For that, I'm actually removing it from this easy press mat. This thing holds a lot of heat. We're gonna remove it from that. And honestly, if you just kind of rub this around on a surface, on a countertop or something, it'll usually do the trick fairly quickly. But you want this to be completely, completely cool to the touch before you remove this, this, this transfer film, the film on top of this design. All right, so that should be good right there. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Beautiful. Y'all, I'm getting so excited about this. Like this is, it's already looking so freaking good. So good. All right, so now we're just gonna press one more time. That's it. This time though, 
with a heat resistant sheet. I'm using a Teflon sheet because you can use these things basically forever, I feel like. Or you can also use a parchment paper sheet as well. But I'm gonna cover it up and we're gonna press it one more time, same temperature, but this time for 10 seconds. Also like medium to firm pressure with this as well. All right. And that is it. Simple as that. It's freaking gorgeous. Now, as far as aftercare instructions, give this at least 24 to 48 hours before you get it wet. You do not want to wash it or get it wet or wear it even, in my opinion, for at least 24 to 48 hours. Give this plenty enough time to actually settle and adhere to the fibers of the garment before giving it a good stretch or anything like that. However, for demo purposes and demo purposes alone, let me just show you how good this is right here. So check this out. Like this stuff stretches so good, so well, it moves with the fabric. It's really light, super comfortable. Like y'all, this stuff is like the bee's knees. Like it's the real deal. The thing about this is that it's just so freaking affordable. Like if I even attempted to do this with HTV, we are looking at so many different colors, so many different sheets of HTV, when in reality, we're just doing a one and done direct to film transfer. This costs just a few dollars. It's printed for you, sent to you, and it is super strong and it is super, super durable. Like this stuff is the real freaking deal. It's so, so good. Now there will be a link to this down in the description box below in case you're interested. You can also use my code, which is crafty to save an additional 5% on your entire order from 143bionel.com. It is an affiliate commission code. It's gonna save you some money. It'll also help support this channel at the same time. It's like a win-win. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new around here, be sure to stamp that subscribe button and ring that little bell for all the notifications. And if you liked the video, be sure to stamp that like button as well. Love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty y'all.